Lately I've been wondering whether or not aquarium snails are actually that bad since that's probably the reason you're here. So using my genius little mind, I went onto social media and asked people a simple question, do you like snails? In today's video we'll be going over how to get rid of your pest snails, how to keep them in check, and maybe even convince you to like them. So without further ado, let's get into today's video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're going to start off by how to get rid of your snails. Now, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you cannot manually remove your snails and think they're going to be gone. You're going to have to use some sort of a chemical. Because there's going to be little eggs that you missed and weren't able to manually remove, and they're going to hatch, and in just a few days you'll be like, No, there's snails again! Now, I haven't used any snail killing chemicals before, so I don't have any stories or advice to share with you guys, but I will put some videos in the description that have that sort of stuff in it. That is if you really want to kill your snails. Because everybody hates snails! Now we'll get on to why you should like the snails. Despite the fact that the snails are actually kind of cute, they're also very useful. But you have to admit you're kind of cute. Think of your snails like little unpaid custodians. They go around eating all the detritus and breaking down things in your tank that could potentially provide harm. For example, if you accidentally overfed your fish once, there'd be a lot of extra food lying around. That food would be sniffed out and found by your ramsorns, they would break it down and turn it into fertilizer for your plants. And I think we can all agree that free fertilizer is way better than ammonia. Just to give another little example, I hardly have to dose fertilizer in any of my tanks. I do have slightly overstocked tanks, but I also have snails. Now we're going to move on to how to keep the snail population in check. This is basically making sure you don't have too many snails to the point where they become annoying. In my experience, one way to do that would be with the feared snail traps. Now you could easily just go online where there are plenty of options of snail traps, but today we'll be going over the cheaper version, which is DIY. This first one is really easy and really cheap. All you need is a water bottle and some food. That's it. This one literally cost me nothing to make. All you have to do is cut a water bottle in half, poke a hole in the lid, put some food inside, and then flip the smaller half into the big half. That's really how easy it is. Considering your ram's horns are nocturnal and your jealous fish aren't, this trap works best at night. The second trap is literally just a piece of cucumber. It's unblanched, you, you do nothing to it, you just stick it in your tank at night, and in the morning it'll be full of snails. For the last snail trap, you'll be using those little containers that your aquarium plants get mailed in. Just stick two on top of each other and rotate them so that fish can't get inside the holes. Then put some algae wafers on a plastic lid and put the little containers on top, and then just pop it in your fish tank. If you're having trouble getting it to sink, you could also put a rock on top of it. Nobody said it had to look pretty! In the end, the best way to get rid of your ram's horns will be to clean your tank more, because more cleaning equals less food. Less food equals less snails. And less snails equals... I don't know. That, that's up to you. Now if you remember the poll that I made in the start of the video, here are the results. A good 87% said that they do like snails. Then I changed it up a bit and asked if you like pest snails. 60% of people said yes, and 40% said no, never. That's not too bad. I think it's safe to say that people are starting to like snails, even though there's still some no-nevers out there. Maybe someday we can change their mind. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, and hopefully you learned something about snails, and maybe you even learned to like them a little. Take time to care for your animals, and I'll see you in the next one. Why you don't like the video? Well, then go smash the like button.